Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride 4 on the Xbox One X. Today we're going to be going through the customization options on Ride 4. Uh, we're going to start with, let's look at the customization options for the actual bike. So this is just a Yamaha R3. So you've got the engine which you can do, so you've got obviously stock, then you can have engine kit 1 and engine kit 2. Uh, exhaust, you've got a few to choose from, you've got stock um, and a couple of manufacturers there, uh, Akrapovic and Tergamoni. Obviously depending on what bike you go with there will be more or less options. Um, you can do the transmission up to uh, racing transmission which allows you to then alter the gear ratios individually. Brakes, stock, brakes kit one, brakes kit two, uh, suspension, just turn it up to uh, racing suspension so that you, then you can uh, adjust the suspension for the races. Um, if you change your chain to a custom chain, you can then paint it. Um, rims as well, there's uh, a few different ones you can choose from. Um, and then you can obviously paint them if you need to. Uh, tires as well, we've got you know more um, different brands of tires this time. Usually it was just Pirelli, but uh, you've got uh, no brands. I uh, just go for a street tire or slick. Then you got a uh, Metzler, and then you got Pirelli and Bridgestone, and then you got mirrors, which you either have on or off. So you don't actually have the choice of picking, you know, different shapes, different colours for mirrors, um, and then plate and indicators either on or off. So that is pretty much uh, the different customization options you can do for your bike um, obviously there is a livery editor which we'll have a look at in a second rider customization so you've got your rider info which is a uh, pretty standard stuff um, rider sticker which I haven't actually done actually so you can obviously make your own but these are pretty much the same well they are exactly the same as what was in MotoGP 20 um, that's all that stuff Rider gear, so you can pick between racing. So you got uh, two presets for racing one and two. Uh, you got road one and two, Harley Davidson, uh, Yamaha MT, and Super Motard. So we'll just start with racing for now. Um, helmet. So it may look like at first glance there isn't many to choose from. Uh, the selection has been dialed down somewhat. Um, but what you will notice is when you actually press on one, you then have more options. So uh, the, the that rate uh, that um, Pista GPR has uh, three, Corsa R has three to choose from. Um, that one's got three to choose from as well. And you go onto that. That's again th three. Um, a bit more there. We've got six to choose from there. We've got Marco Simoncelli replica. A um, couple more of uh, Rossi replicas there. Uh, three there. Three there. So there is, you know, still a good selection of helmets. But, you know, the, the main reason why they haven't, you know, included every single helmet from past games and that is because we do now have a helmet editor, which again we'll get into uh, in a bit. Um, which you can basically, if there's a certain style, certain design of helmet that you want to to use, then if you're any good at using the graphics editor on this game, then you know you can just uh, make your own pretty much. So, although there is still, you know, a, a, a decent enough selection of helmets. Um, you know, my, my favourite isn't here. The the helmet that I used in Ride 2 and Ride 3, which was a Nolan helmet, isn't in this game. So I'm either going to have to wait for someone to, to make one. I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm not that great at uh, designing my own helmets or liveries or anything like that. So, yeah, and Mark Marquez replica helmet there. So yeah, I'll either have to wait or just go without um, or just find something else. So these are all 
the you can call them stock helmets if you want um, but that's a, a look at all of them visors pretty standard you know we've had these before in previous ride games gloves similar thing pick between um, styles and colors so we just have a quick flick through all of these but there is uh, the addition of a, a leather editor as well for your rider. Which again, we will look at all the editors in a second. Um, once we get through all of the gloves. So there are some brands which have not been in any of the ride series before. So it is good to see different brands come into the game. But yeah, gloves, are, there does seem to be a decent selection of gloves, especially compared to helmets and compared to previous uh, ride games. So a wide selection of gloves for you to choose from. And we're still going. Still going. We are getting towards the end. Nearly there. Right, we're on the last brand now. I think that's it. That is it. Right, that's gloves. Now suits again. Same thing. Different styles per um, actual model. So again, a few to choose from. few different ones as well a few more brands that we haven't had in the past so again good to have the addition of them like I said you can also design your own leathers as well so that is uh, another option if you do have a look and see there's none you like or you want to try and replicate a real life rider's leathers then you can do that you just need um, to be able to be good at the actual graphics editor on these games. Which, like I keep saying, I'm not particularly good at doing stuff like that. And um, there are some people out there that do amazing stuff. So it's always worth keeping an eye on the online content and checking back regularly. And uh, you will definitely find something that will either surprise you or amaze you or... You, you just want to use a certain one. You'll find one that you'll like. And maybe stick with it. Or I th think there is going to be a good selection of like um, real life rider gear oh, that we can uh, look at. Where do we get to? Because I pressed the wrong button. Okay. So yeah, like I said, there is a, a wide selection. I haven't actually counted, but I think there may be more leathers than Ride 3, possibly. Like I said, I haven't really counted. But yeah, there, there is a lot. There is a lot. It's only the... It seems at the moment, literally just flicking through these now, it's only the helmets that have kind of uh, taken a rather large knock. Whereas the other components of the rider gear have all, you know, made, made advancements. We've got a lot more to choose from. And even boots. That's just one model. So there are loads to choose from again just quickly flick through them rossi boots um okay So we are nearly through all the boots now. So when I first went into the menus and just saw there was like not a wide selection, I was like, 
okay. It wasn't until I actually pressed on one that uh, I realised there was more in the actual models. And uh, yeah, knee sliders, just choose your colour, basically. So that's stuff we already know. Um, let's have a look at the road stuff. Helmets are going to be the same. So don't really need to look at them again. Visors, same. Gloves, they're going to be same as well. Jackets are going to be different. So, yeah, there is there is a lot. I haven't actually looked at these ones yet. So this is the first time I'm seeing these ones. But again, a nice nice selection. A yeah, very big selection, actually. Usually they they kind of skimp on the the road stuff, but yeah, there is a, a big selection. And again, I think you can customize them as well. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, we'll have to. Maybe it's just the one piece suits you can do a custom livery for. We'll have a look in a minute. Anyway, we'll have a look. We've still got Super Motard to look at. And the Harley Davidson stuff. So that's that. You can do trousers as well. But that is literally just one style. And five colours. Um, and then shoes. Not a huge amount to choose from shoe wise. But they're there. Right Harley Davidson. Our helmets are going to be the same. Gloves are going to be the same. Jacket. I think it's literally just... Yeah, it's literally just a kind of Harley Davidson brand. So, stuff we've already seen. Yamaha MT. Now, this is different, but you can't actually edit that. That's just as it is. Uh, but we can edit the Super Motard. So this will be different. Um, obviously different helmets, different styles. Some of these are, are recognised from the likes of MXGP. Or Supercross. Again... Pretty decent selection of helmets here. I think that's it. Goggles as well. There is going to be, yeah, loads to to choose from again. Different brands. I think there's brands in here we out we didn't have in previous ride games as well. There is a lot to, to go through if you really want to get into it. I think that's the last of the goggles. Yes, it is. Uh, gloves. I mean, that's literally just going to be the same. Suit is going to be same as well. Boots. They seem to be the same. And these sliders, again... Change colours. Right, so that's a look at that. Riding style, there's literally only three to choose from. you got balanced, shoulders out, or old school. Uh, feet at the start, I just have right foot down, but you can have left foot or both. Uh, braking leg out, so obviously when you're heavy on braking, whether your rider sticks his leg out or not, you can have yes or no. And then you can have one, two, or four finger braking for your rider. So that is that. Um, time to look at the actual editors now. So, bike liveries. So I haven't made one. I'm not going to make one now. I'll just show you roughly what it is. So pick your bike. We'll just go with that one. And then you can change the colour of the actual fare in itself as a base colour. And then you can... Uh, 
Choose the stick of material as well. Glossy plastic, opaque gla- uh, plastic, lacquered plastic, lacquered metal, or satin finished metal. Uh, and then you just pick whereabouts on the bike you want to go. And then you've got the, the shapes in that to, to look through different different things as well. We've got camo, animals, and then we go into the alphabet and numbers. Although, yeah, there is a few numbers there. And we got emojis, flags. And then we got onto the uh, actual sponsor brands. Seems to be more this time around as well to choose from. And obviously, depending on what, what manufacturer you use, you have that manufacturer's um, logos to use as well. So obviously, we're Yamaha, so you can use Yamaha. And then you just... Put it where you want, make it as big as you want, twirl it around, and uh, yeah, you can. Uh, oh, it did print. Okay, do stuff like that. I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty with that it's because if you played Ride Three, you know exactly what the bike li- livery editor is. If you played uh, MotoGP Twenty, then you know exactly what the helmet editor is going to be but you can do super motard helmets as well um so you only actually get four helmets to choose from so it may not necessarily be the actual helmet you want but again you can choose the helmet base color and add layers um and again same things which is basically exactly the same as what we've had in uh, previous MotoGP games as well. So that is that. Um, And then on to suits. So I think this is literally, yeah, it's only, only three suits by the looks of it. Unless you have to have one equipped. Um... But yeah, it's, you know, same sort of thing. Pick pick part of the suit and then you got, you know, the same stuff here. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of things people come up with. Um, in fact, should we just have a little look, see what people have been coming up with? So just a quick flick through. So yeah, you can can use different. Uh, I think maybe you have to buy the suits first before you can um, actually do stuff on them. So that's just a quick look at them. And then you got stickers, which was missing from uh, MotoGP. But again, you can search online and people have already made some stickers um, for you to download. But again, that's a similar sort of thing. Rider stickers as well. This will be like the butt patch. And again, just have a quick look at the things that people have made. And then what's the last thing? I've just searched online content. So yeah, loads of stuff to, uh, to do customization wise on this game. Obviously previous ride, we just had the bike livery editor. But now we've got helmet editor and uh, riding uh, leathers editor as well. So looking forward to see what the the people that are really good at designing stuff actually get out of this game. And are looking forward to seeing some decent um, designs. But anyway, guys, that has been a look at the customization options on Ride 4. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I should see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and to wash your hands. See you.